Orange County Registered Digital. Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Top 150 Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, being joined by the mastermind behind the OC Varsity Top 150, and that is Dan Albano. Dan, there can only be one. The number one prospect, if you will, in all of Orange County is... Well, we're here at Courage Field, and it is... Uh... Travis Waller, Servite quarterback, and probably not a big surprise to a lot of folks, but you know he was our first team all-county quarterback. He's had a great offseason. He's improved his throwing, um, still just as fast. He's got all that experience going to Oregon and um, you know leading the you know number one team in the county. So Travis, he's he's our number one guy, and uh, but he had some competition for the spot, Jonathan. But before we get to that competition, we ask Travis Waller how it feels to be number one. Feels pretty good. I mean, without the help of my old linemen receivers, you know, I can't really do anything about without them. So, I'm thankful for that. I'm number one, but I mean, I got some old linemen, a lot of players in the top 150 receivers, old linemen defense, everybody. So, we're gonna do big things. It must have been pretty uh, heartbreaking for you at times to name all these players. There's so much talent in Orange County this year, as we discussed on the Gridiron Show. Who are some guys who could have been number one? Well, you know, I think his, I think Travis's number one competition was Keyshawn, Looser South, um, Orange Lutheran, you know, outside linebacker, um, outstanding. He was also first team all county last year. He's had a great off season, picked up tons of offers. He's moving to outside linebacker this year. So I think he's just going to be running wild and, and, and really, he wants to get 20 sacks, Jonathan, this year. So um, he was big competition. Another guy I really like, you know, Malik McMorris at uh, Modern Day, two-way lineman. You know, this is not a recruiting list. This is a, you know, best football players list guys to watch and Malik I mean he's this he might be the best two-way player in the county um, you know and a couple other guys right there you know Jalen Hawkins really liked him at uh, Buena Park at receiver and, def and uh, defensive back he's getting a lot of Pac-12 offers and he's going to be really big for uh, Coyotes you know they don't have they graduated Devin Boston last year so oh, yeah. it's really going to be a, a lot on Jalen's uh, shoulders and then Ben Humphreys is going to be outstanding mm -hmm. at modern day he's moving to safety going to be a receiver and um, he's going to be pretty scary too. Finally, Dan, who are some guys who may have made the list but are rising stars and could find themselves maybe projecting higher as the season progresses? Well, there's there's a lot of guys. You know, I I had a lot of fun doing this. Lots watch a lot of video. You know, some of the guys I think you could could rise pretty high. Guys like uh, I liked Ethan Aguayo a lot. Uh, Jay Sarah looked really outstanding um, during the summer. I think uh, Carlos Martin at La Habra, the running back, is going to have you know just a monster year. Um, I'm interested to see what Parker Chase at Corona Del Mar can do this year. You know, last year he had 16 sacks. I mean, what if he goes Who, for who's 20? Who's going to 20 quicker? That's you know, the question this year. Um, <laughs> you know, I think. Uh, you know, some other guys, you know, there's, it's kind of the year of the quarterback uh, this year, Jonathan. You know, Trey Tinsley, at, you know, at El Toro, you know, he was 21st on our list. He threw for 3,000 yards last year. He's better this year. Um, El Toro should be better. Mm -hmm. um, Devin Monster is a, a rising junior uh, to watch, a quarterback at, uh, of, uh, Sean Monster, at, at Tesoro, dual threat quarterback. Um, he's looked really good in the summer. You know, Denzel Brantley at Los Alamitos, um, you know, at running back and, and uh, safety. So there's, you know, there's going to be a lot of guys, a lot of talent out there. Um, there's some guys that, you know, one of the hardest positions was 150, believe it or not, because, you know, those guys are not going to be on the list. And I think you know, maybe online I'll have, you know, I'll continue this list. Yeah, I think it'll keep growing and growing and growing <laughs> and growing. Our thanks to Dan Albano. Check out the list on OCVarsity.com. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus. And for all your latest high school information, check out OCVarsity.com, where we've got you covered. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.